All right, so it's a brand new day. And yesterday was the day they tried to put the well casing or the lining in, and it kept getting snagged at, you know, 300 feet or whatever, right around 300. So um, today they got a new plan. They already pulled the lining out, that white pipe, and they're gonna run back through with the same drill and just try to clean it up and clean it up and clean it up and clean it up. And then hopefully that works. So every time they do that though, they've gotta pull out all the casing, you know, all that white pipe. On the side of it, it says casing, but they call it a lining. The, the casing's more like the big metal casing that goes down a certain amount of feet. And then they consider the white pipe inside to be the lining. So the lining, they pull all that out. That's what they were doing yesterday. It takes like a solid hour to pull that out because they pull it 20 feet at a time then they got to separate it take that stick off go back down hook up to the next piece pull it separate it swing it over you know it was it takes a while so we don't really want to have too many attempts because it's just sucking up fuel and time but they've got all that out so right now what they're going to do is load up the cutter um, the hammer on the bottom and just start re-drilling with the drilling pipe and then especially at that depth they're gonna give it a lot of attention but what they think is happening right around that depth there was a big underground a void basically and that's what that's where they pop the hundred gallons per minute by the way so and that void when they get there that's the reason there's so much water it was a big underground cavern um, which is filled with water which makes it an aquifer so when they hit that um, you know, we think kind of what's happening is as they drill, everything is clear, but then by the time, you know, it takes an hour to get all the drilling pipe out, stick by stick by stick by stick, just like with the, just like with the lining, they think so much water is rushing in from the side of that aquifer that uh, uh, rocks and debris are getting there. Then when they try to slide the plastic lining back in, you know, that stuff, you can't really ram with that. It's got to either go in or... You know, you twist it a little bit and you try a little bit, but if it doesn't go in, you pull it all back out and you run the metal one with the hammer back on the end of it. So that's kind of the goal today, clean it out again. Every time they drill it though, they have to pump air through there and kind of blow the hole out. So um, this is where the pond level's at, which is sweet. I mean, they got a lot of water in there the first day. They got a lot of water in there the second day kind of murky but in about three days it'll be clear you'll be able to see to the bottom which is pretty sweet um so just kind of making a note of where we're at and they're going to try to clean it out so more water will come out but if that doesn't work they may have to uh ream it to an eight inch if they do that <laughs> it's going to be a whole bunch more slop flowing down the creek bed and more uh probably a lot more water coming through um, so which I mean this could take it this is way less than half full right here it's this kind of comes up fast and then when it gets this shelf right here and that shelf right there it slows way down because the volume spreads way out so I got plenty of retention for them it was bone dry when they came I'm gonna say there's probably at least four feet in there now maybe even a little bit more um, so you know, as much water's flowed, we got plenty of rooms to go. So yeah, I mean, there's not gonna be much to really see. They're gonna do the same thing they did yesterday, but when we get into the more technical stuff, I'll go get some video. All right, so this was the problem spot. You'll notice there's water dripping off the trick because uh, they're trying to send it down to break off what's on the side. They dropped the nose to change the angle and they hit it, it plugged up the air for a bit and then it freed up and just Water way up there. It's pretty soaked. <laughs> that's why there's water all over. So that's our trouble spot right there, but I think he mostly got it broken off.
like some more stuff is falling and kind of clogging the hole up. And then when they try to send more pipe, it's clogging up the hammer that shoots air too. And then once in a while it clears out and the air blows a lot of water out. So we're gonna run out and get uh, brunch. It's kind of like an early lunch breakfast deal. I gotta get a couple Home Depot Lowe's things. But uh, they're trying to get it cleaned out. Man, every time they do, they gotta pump the hole out. <laughs> it's, it's filling that pond up pretty quick. Um, they got down to the bottom and they were definitely over 100 gallons per minute. So we don't know exactly what, but it's pretty cool looking. The cookie likes it. Just pumping, pumping, pumping. So, all right, lunch. All right, so that's uh, Riverside County Health and Safety um, for a complaint from a very nice neighbor um, claiming that we're contaminating the Blue Line natural water flow um, and we don't have proper containment. So. He came to inspect, took some photos, very happy with how everything is. Um, <clears throat> can't really see the sign on the side of his truck, but uh, as a matter of fact, he gave me a card because when we're done, all they really want is to make sure some of that drilling mud is not uh, left over in that creek bed. So here we go, right there, boom. So after we're done, I've just got to take some photos to, in, you know, to prove that the, uh, the drill cuttings are not clogging up the creek and making the creek do something weird or, or whatever. So he, reasonable guy. Um, but basically that gives us, me personally, extra work to do. So that, that, that uh, cuttings in the creek bed I gotta dig out. Guess what, I was gonna dig those out anyway. So nothing's changed. I just have to take pictures of it now. But here's the problem. When I ran out, they hit uh, debris again. They couldn't get the lining in. So now they're gonna drill it to eight inches. So right now, what he's doing is, I'm way up on a rock, I'm pretty high up off the ground here. They're putting on this eight inch driller. So they're gonna do what's called remit. So now with the eight inch, it'll be an eight inch hole. And then still the four and a half inch lining. So that's what we're up to right now. Uh, he's moving this truck. I'm gonna jump down and 
and I left my machine in the way, so I jumped down and get that, but we're drilling eight inches now. the next day they're drilling they got like about 40 feet to go neighbors already out harassing them trying to take photos and video add because health and safety didn't shut us down because it's all legit but uh, man water's pumping like crazy ponds getting pretty here in another little bit it's gonna uh, reach that shelf and start coming over this way but they'll probably not get that far because they're almost to the bottom and then they're going to uh so it's all being drilled to eight inch then they're going to pull out then they're going to set the casing so right now i actually have to run and go do some work stuff so you see i'm in the whole um get up here gotta go on the scooter but uh again there they Videotaping me, videotaping her. Isn't it sad? All right, so I gotta go. Alrighty, so the crew just left. I uh, I saw him going down the road, but I just wasn't quite back in time. I had to go take care of some work stuff. Um, so this is what a well looks like. It's just a stubbed out uh, big casing. Um, the whole metal, the whole uh, plastic casing is inside. I got obviously you know this ditch to fill in i'm going to move some of that soil over here with the mini excavator right now and start getting this cleaned up a little bit better um, basically before i had run this conduit down here for the wires so those wires will come maybe over to something like right here put a panel and then the panel will have the wiring going actually to the pump and the pipe for the water now that this is such high production I don't have to pump it up there to the tank. It's gonna just on demand, constant water pressure feed the main. I ran the main here. So probably what I'll do is I'll come and scrape off all these rocks from this liner. Um, have to get them all off of there and then dig down carefully to the main and then basically tee into the main right here and bring it over so that way water will get pumped from the well pressurized hit the main and go that way and this way that way goes up to our house this way goes to the shop in the second house both of them have irrigation on them so um you know overall actually not bad i mean it's close it, it kind of sucks it's in the driveway but um it could be worse and i would have loved for that to have been a little further over but you know what this is where they could get the truck and made it so that they didn't cause any damage to the neighbor's property so it's fine it's all good um right here will be the edge of the driveway so i'll count it off by feet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen feet more than you know it's a lane and a half of road so we're good you know probably what i'll do is i'll maybe maybe even uh put a little berm or maybe put a little line of rocks right here that way it's just very protected from you know if somebody would ever come out of here and go wide and slam into it but yeah it's good I, i'm super happy with it they got it you know finished up my job to do the site cleanup that was part of our deal um and so i did get a call while um they were finishing up basically they had to re-drill that at eight inch depth or eight inch diameter and they it ended up making 120 gallons a minute starting at like 120 feet so from 120 feet all the way down it's just gushing tons of water so that you know to be honest anything over about 50 gallons a minute in a residential application is kind of unuseful because it's going to end up costing so much money for the for the pump and the you know you might even have to do like a three-phase pump or something so like for a five horsepower 50 gallons a minute 45 gallons a minute not all you're going to get but the fact that there's that much is a good indication that i'm never going to see that well go dry and you can see they they made me another mess today but um you know this was all part of the deal i i anticipated 
a lot of cleanup and I have a lot of cleanup to do. And uh, when I'm done, I have to send photos to the uh, hub or it, it filled up that stinking clean out I had put in there again. It's all right. When it's all done, I have to send pictures to Riverside County Health and Safety. That was their thing. They just said, you know, we want to make sure that this natural waterway is not contaminated and et cetera. So that's cool. That's on me. And some water pumping because they got this pond about half full. It's more than half in depth, but in volume, counting all this, I'd say it's, it's, about, it's about half full. So um, a lot of water. They pumped a lot of water at 120 gallons a minute was really cranking so very cool um successful experience uh turned out to be a little bit more expensive but turned out to be a lot more plentiful water supply um so without much further talk i had a lot of work to do and i want to get it done you know hopefully mostly cleaned up today so i gotta jump on it right now so that um fills in or you know finishes up the well drilling aspect nothing with the pump yet or any of the plumbing but to be continued on that part 